tonight I'm going to be photographing the elusive planet Saturn through my camera and telescope setup in my backyard, but this time I'm not even in my backyard. I'm in a new location that I've never shot in before until this year. This is Tanner from TH Astro and welcome to the YouTube channel. So you might notice by now that this is actually not the backyard that I typically shoot in. I am actually in a Bortle 3 or 4 site right now. It doesn't really make a difference because I am shooting under some hazy smoky skies tonight. Yes, the smoke is back unfortunately, and there's also a half moon, so I unfortunately won't be doing any deep sky astrophotography tonight. Instead, I will be photographing Saturn, but not even with my telescope that I normally use. I will be using a different telescope, my Skywatcher SkyMax 102. It is a Maxutov Cassegrain telescope. The telescope I will be using has an effective diameter of 102 millimeters, or roughly 4 inches, and a focal length of 1300 millimeters, and a nice and fast f13 f ratio. So you might be wondering if my refractor is longer and this Maxutov Cassegrain telescope is is much shorter, why would I be using a shorter telescope? Don't you need big telescopes to see planets? Yes, while that's true, some telescopes are actually quite special. Some of them use mirrors, and this is what Maxutov telescopes use. They use mirrors that will effectively bounce the light back and forth, which will triple their original focal length and will give you a nice narrow path straight to planets which is exactly what we need. To help with this narrow field of view I will be using my ZWO ASI 120 MC color astronomy camera which normally fits on my guide camera but tonight I will be using it as my main camera because I want this really narrow field of view that my normal camera doesn't have due to its large sensor size. I will also be tripling my telescope's original focal length with a Barlow lens called the SV Boney 3x Barlow lens and this will triple my focal length from 1300 to almost 4000. Now right now Saturn is actually on its way to opposition which means that it will be its biggest and brightest of the entire year until it will start to dim and get smaller again. Now Saturn is actually a couple months away from being at opposition but it is still nice and bright for me to take a picture of. Unlike deep sky astrophotography when we take a lot of exposures of a very dim object, I will actually be taking a whole video of Saturn, roughly two or three minutes, and what I will do is I will stack all of these video frames together to further sharpen my image of the planet Saturn because I will be shooting through a lot of that unstable atmosphere that we don't want in our planetary pictures. Now for all you visual astronomers out there, Saturn is actually located in the constellation of Aquarius right now and it will appear as a bright yellow star. It'll look just like all the other stars but it will kind of stand out a little bit by being yellow. Now once you zoom in through that star, hopefully with any binoculars or just a telescope lying around, you will actually be able to see some of Saturn's rings and even its brightest moons like Titan or Enceladus. My main focus for tonight will be capturing Saturn's rings and even the famous Cassini division in those rings. The Cassini division is a bright, or I guess dark, little divide in Saturn's rings that you can easily see through a lot of telescopes. Now this Bortle 3 and 4 site is actually quite special to me. This is actually a lake house that I've been going to ever since my childhood and I've been doing a bunch of crazy things this week. I've been swimming Swimming, tubing, and the best part is the fishing. The fishing's amazing. So anyway, um, Saturn and all the planets go through a little bit of a phase. They will eventually become night targets and then they will eventually become early morning targets. And the reason why this happens is because when the planets move, because the planets move faster than the stars in the night sky, they will eventually catch up with the sun and they will eventually be sunset objects. And once they pass the sun, they will then become early morning targets. And right now Saturn's in the perfect spot. It is right in the middle of the night when you can see it. And it is just an awesome target to look at through a telescope scope, especially from dark skies like this sky that I'm going to be under tonight. So um, without further ado, let's fast forward to nighttime.
know if you guys can see this in the camera right now, but just imagine something running right behind me. I'm gonna show you guys really quick what I'm looking at. I can't see anything over here. I can't see anything over here. The only thing that's keeping me here is luckily this light and I am freaked out right now because I hear coyotes screaming and they seem like they're really close but we have to go image Saturn and then we're gonna rush right back inside.